Hi, it's Friday the 30th of June and it's quite surreal actually to be standing here where I'm standing. We're going to be going up into the castle shortly but I don't know how much filming we're allowed to do up there um, in the, with the current regime as it were. Um, but basically this, um, this place used to be my family's home. Uh, this was the home of my 13th great-grandfather, um, Earl Ralph Neville, which is amazing. And obviously before that. Now, the Neville family started, as we know, back to when we go to the... Um, basically, Robert changed his name. My 17th... This is what important to find. There's lots of other Nevilles around the world, but they're not necessarily connected to this particular lineage. Um, what happened was, is that um, basically Lord Robert Fitzmaldred had his wife, Isabella Neville. She, she died, and on the death of her... Of her Robert the son, Lord Robert de Neville, decided to take the name de Neville, um, when really what he should have been would have been in sequence and, and, and the actual main factor would have been he would have been Lord Robert Fitz Robert, as in son of Robert, as, in, as the, the sequence goes. Now, Lord Robert de Neville, once he changed his name by Depol, he was born in 1240, and he died in 1271, so he only lived to be 31 years old. But in that, in that line, he was able to then have his next son along the line, which would be Sir Randolph Neville, 1262. And it goes on from there. Now, we've got to remember that the, the lineage goes back, at this point, to Dunbar in Scotland. And if we go back to 1015, we've got Earl Mordred Macrinnan, who was in Dunbar, and he left Dunbar somewhere around about 1035, and headed down to Rabi. So from Ireland over to Scotland, the Celtic lands, the kings of Ireland, from there down from Dun to Dunbar, before that they were Atoll and Dull, down to um, Dunbar, and then from Dunbar they've come down to Rabi. So we're now hitting around about 1042, in the year 1042. And we're, we're now here, Earl Gospatrick MacMoldred in 1042 is born, the Earl of Rabi. So we're now, we're now safely in Rabi, and we're moving along through Fitzmaldred to Fitzuctred to Fitzdolphin to Fitzmaldred, as we mentioned already, Lord Robert Fitzmaldred, 1170 to 1246, then bringing in that new, that new surname into the line. So the new bloodline would be from 1240 to 1271, as say, and then Robert Neville, Lord Robert Neville, Lord of Rabi, changed his name by Depol on the death of his mother to his mother's maiden name. Which seems to be a pattern in my family. They do seem to honour the mothers more so than they do the fathers, really, which is quite interesting um, in that sense. The castle was built um, basically in the, uh, um, a roundabout um, designed in the, by my 13th great-grandfather, Earl Ralph Neville. Now, he kept it in line for um, quite some years, but sadly rightly or wrongly, it was sold to the Barnard family. So Lord Barnard took over the estate and it was sold to him for a, probably a multitude of reasons, I guess. Um, obviously when the death of various family members occur, people don't want the castle. It's perhaps just too much for someone to work with, the land itself. And we've got to remember back in the day, when we go back to like th the year 1364 onwards, you know, there would have been a lot of farm hands, there would have been coachmen, there would have been all sorts of staff on the payroll to pay as well. So um, you were very much the lord of the manor and they would have paid a lot of money out to a lot of people. So sometimes it's best if you've got a few estates to let one of the estates go and keep the ones that you actually probably want to keep for lineage purposes forward. So the Neville, the Neville family is amazing as we know because it goes right the way back to Ireland. From Ireland it goes over to France, France to Ukraine. Ukraine it goes back to um, Russia, from Russia it goes right across down to Turkey, Turkey to Iraq, and then from Iraq it goes right back into Israel. So um, the, if you follow the whole line pattern back, which is if everyone is ever interested, you can always contact me and I'll be more than willing to share that information with them. Any other member of the Neville family from my lineage, um, I'd be happy to share that with you, um, 100%. You've only got to make contact really. Um, so we're, today we're going to be focusing on Earl Ralph Neville. Now we know there's a wonderful alabaster in one of the churches locally where we have one of the earls of, the, of my Neville line there, plus we also have his wife in another sort of effigy slightly across really from him. So we'll be looking at that as well later on today. But Rabbi Castle is an amazing castle. Um, worth a visit, worth a look.